Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm here to do another video. This is going on uh, the Queensland Origin squad, uh, basically going over the game to line up, just my thoughts on that. And uh, it's with the use of the Rugby League Live 3 Fan Hub, which you can download on Steam. So uh, I went through and I did the same as what I did for New South Wales and that. Uh, added the players in that I needed to add. There was a few people who weren't in there. I think it was sort of based off like Game 3 from last year. Although, like Will Chambers. Oh no, don't worry, he played last year. Um, but yeah, the lineup. I think overall it's a pretty strong lineup. Definitely strong enough to win and win comfortably probably if they play up to up to their potential as much as it pains me to say. Uh, we'll start off with their spine. We'll go with uh, so Billy Slater, Thurston, Cherry Evans and Cameron Smith. Now three of the four uh, are very good in origin. Cherry Evans I think thus far hasn't been particularly impressive in that player model. Looks so funny. But um Obviously, there's a lot of hate on him, even from uh, a lot of Queenslanders, saying, you know, they don't want him playing in that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that when the game starts, they'll be definitely cheering for him. Um, in saying that, though, Cherry Evans, like, like I said before, when he's been picked at halfback, hasn't been impressive at all, uh, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it, it could change. It could definitely change, for sure. But, I mean, he could come out and just destroy, destroy... Uh, New South Wales is definitely capable of doing it if he plays like he does at club level sometimes. But, yeah, like I said, this thus far, the state of origin level hasn't really played that well. Um, probably just, I don't know, it's h hard to just fill in. I um, mean, he hasn't played too many games as a starting halfback. I think maybe like one, probably. Um, and he had the one where he came on and played quite a lot of time at halfback. The rest have all been just slotting in at the second row or whatever. Um, I think the back line... Very strong Inglis. I've seen that they're going to be like throwing him on the wing and sort of throwing him around everywhere. Um, probably a good move because Josh Morris has him like locked down every single game. So maybe just try and get him away from Josh Morris, put him up against Jennings possibly. I don't, I don't know. Swap him sides because like Hodges, Hodges is good, but um, like Hodges up against Morris, like it doesn't really change too many things. Hodges doesn't really break open games. Or, like he's very good, but. I think Inglis up against Jennings would probably be the better option of, like, Inglis destroying someone. Um, Darius Boyd had a pretty okay game. Will Chambers is very, very, very good. I'd say up th right up there could have easily been man of the match. Um, definitely deserves to retain his spot. Yeah, Thurston, awesome player. Matt Scott, Mod, I think Queensland forward pack actually surprised me. I'm, I was expecting New South Wales pack to sort of just, just roll them, to be totally honest with you. I don't really know why I expected that in hindsight, but for some reason I did. Um... And I think the bench is actually quite good. Gillett, pretty versatile. He's a pretty strong player. Lilliman, pretty good player. Josh Maguire, pretty good. And uh, Michael Morgan had a pretty solid debut without being spectacular. I mean, how can you? He's, you know, he's, he's a half. He's playing off the bench. But I've got to say, Michael Morgan, um, I know the whole thing, like, all up to the lead-up of game one was like, oh, he's actually pretty big. But he did not look out of place, like, standing next to some of those forwards in the in the Moran um, jumper. We'll have to say that. Um Guerra, I think he's a really good origin player. I think he's, you know, a really good player. Thide always steps up for origin. You know, you can always rely on Thide for origin games. Um, Corey Parker, very consistent. Just all around, it's just a really good side. And it quite scares me as a New South, Wal uh, New South Welshman, considering, you know, our team's sort of in shambles somewhat with, like, the halves and, um, like, Gallon, is he fit? Is he not fit? It's, you know, it's hard one to judge. I know the whole thing is, like, the ageing. And I do believe they are aging. Like, I, I don't think Queensland side is as good as what it was years ago, which, I mean, it was a very good side years ago. But I still think they're more than uh, capable of doing the job on New South Wales 3 0 if, like, really comes down to it. Although I really don't want to talk too negative on New South Wales because I really want them to win. I think the positive is uh, Billy Slayer is carrying an injury. Um, so definitely he could be a target, like, for bombs and that sort of stuff. Just, you know, try and hit him hard. If he gets an injury, like, that's, you know, that's too bad. Um, but you'd think he might be sort of trying to hide a little bit, possibly. I don't know. Um, Inglis, not in the best form. Boyd hasn't played that many games. Like, I'm sort of clutching the straws here a little bit. The, the biggest one, obviously, is going to be Trey Evans replacing Kronk, because we've seen in the past, Kronk is, uh, or I'd say Thurston as well, but trying to throw in Trey Evans, that is, you know, they might be really good, but all those years of um, working up combination, that sort of stuff, it's hard to just replace like, all of a sudden. So, um, I mean, I suppose that's something that New South Wales got going for them that, well, actually, they're, they're sort of the same. They haven't really played too much, but, yeah, Cherry Evans, I'm not really sure if he's 
at this stage a huge Origin player, but I mean, but now that I've said that, it probably come out and destroy New South Wales. But that's where the video video is going to end. I think the squad is very very good. That's you know that's all I got to say really. Um, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter at Mr Luke on my teeth, my Twitter handle. I probably will be um, talking about Origin on there a fair bit and uh, you know live tweeting the game possibly and. Um, Leave in the comments what would what would have been your Queensland lineup? Like, would you went for Cherry Evans? Would you went for Michael Morgan first in the halves? I think first and a half back Morgan probably would have been a really good option as well. Um, yeah, I don't think there's been any other real big absentees from uh, the team sheet for Queensland, but yeah, that's, that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and uh, go, go New South Wales.